Hey friends, Coach Jordan here coming at you for 325 Wednesday Rev Strength Portion. Make sure between the two videos that I'm going to be posting, you watch this one first because I'm going to have both our strength portion and pieces of our warm-up for Rev. Okay, so what we're looking at for tomorrow or Wednesday, excuse me, if you're watching this now, get the camera angle figured out. There we go. We have 10 minutes science 10 minutes every two minutes on the minute five tempo deadlifts three seconds on the way up three seconds on the way down so if you need to write that down go ahead 10 minute e2 mom so five rounds these rounds are two minutes long and inside of that two minutes i need five deadlifts from you okay so what we're focusing on is that tempo work which is three seconds on the way up three seconds on the way down and i'm going to talk about those here so I have my three objects, my dumbbell, my kettlebell, and my slam ball. Most of us at home have some variation of this. Maybe you have a barbell. If you do, great. Okay. What we're looking for, especially with this tempo work, is how well can you control that weight while you're moving? Okay. So if I have something like a slam ball where my point of pickup is a little bit lower, I don't have to get down farther to pick it up off the floor versus my kettlebell or my uh, dumbbell, excuse me, um, we want to focus on how well we can set our shoulders and set our eyes forward like we're looking at the horizon. Okay, so something like my slam ball, I'm just going to go ahead and do my five reps with my tempo, three on the way up, three on the way down. Here it goes. Grabbing on, my back is nice and flat. Get my butt in the picture here. Make sure that my butt is nice and low so I can pick up with a flat back, right? Traditional deadlift, as long as my hips or above my knees, I'm good. I don't want to be in this position where my legs are locked. You can see how rounded my back is in this position. I'm gonna pull down, get my back nice and flat. One, two, three. One, two, three, back to the floor. That was one repetition. One, two, three, squeezing my butt at the top. One, two, three, back to the floor. Okay, same thing applies with a kettlebell. One, two, three, pause and hold, one, two, three, back to the floor, okay? We're not really holding our positions too long. Three seconds is about what a traditional deadlift speed should look like, but I want you to think about it a little bit more than what you might normally would with a deadlift, okay? Count to three in your head and make it look good, okay? If you have a heavier dumbbell, you don't necessarily need to take it from the floor with both butts touching the floor, okay? I can have a single side of that dumbbell touching the floor, and I can grab on, same thing, back is nice and flat. One, two, three, pause. One, two, three, back to the floor. You're gonna have lots of rest time during these sets, so make sure you're sneaking in some ankle mobility for our mountain climbers and jumping squats that are coming up for the workout. My favorite ankle mobility exercise is Two, grab on to something like a kettlebell or a dumbbell or a slam ball, whatever object you have at home. Make sure we get into a narrow stance lunge. What does that mean? That means I actually want my knee to go over my toe. Okay, so I'll pull my foot back. I'm gonna get my object on top of my leg and I'm gonna push my knee over my toe while keeping my heel on the floor. Your heel is gonna wanna lift, fight the urge to do that by using your opposite hand, keep your knee, or excuse me, your heel on the floor and push that knee over the toe. It's a great ankle mobility uh, tool to use during your rest. I'd like to see that maybe two or three rounds out of those five, okay? I want your warm up, dropping my marker here, your warm up to include three minutes of movement. This could be some light and easy jump rope. This could be running, rowing, skiing if you have it. Running three minutes might be a little intense for a lot of us to just start out right away. So you could start off with a minute and a half walk or a power walk and then transition into a run, okay? I'd love to see a minimum of five bump stretches. I'm writing this down so I don't forget and I'll show you at the end of the video. A minimum of five pump stretches, focusing on pedaling out your heels. We have some mountain climbers and some hopping coming up later. Really fast and intense along with a rest period, okay? So three minutes of movement, three minutes of pump stretches, 
And then I'd love to see an accumulation of at least 15 air squats uh, in your warm-up tempo, just like this deadlift, three seconds on the way up, three seconds on the way down, um, to include in your warm-up as well. If you have more questions about the warm-up, please let me know. Otherwise, today is kind of a fast total body workout, so I want to get you right into it, get you rolling. All right, second video will be a description of the workout. Uh, if you have questions about the strength portion or warm-up, let me know. Otherwise, let's get to our workout video. See you soon.